morning getting first assembly Alan Mormon here I just wanted to take a couple of minutes today to tell you how excited I am to be able to announce that we're going to be coming back for another love your neighbor event in March of next year we had such a great time partnering with you last Easter and seeing some great things happen through the outreach and we're looking forward to coming back again but specifically today I wanted to invite you to be a part of a Love Your Neighbor weekend that we're going to be hosting over at Cameron First Assembly. We've partnered with Pastor Wayne Vincent and we've invited some other churches to come us alongside them to reach out to their community with them. And your church is one of those, so we want to invite you to be a part. If you have on your heart to uh, join us for this weekend, please see Cindy Watson. I look forward to seeing some of you there. look forward to being with you next March. God bless you. We'll see you soon. in their sphere of influence with the words they speak. This book is for every woman who desires to use her words to build up rather than tear down, to encourage rather than discourage, to cheer rather than jeer. It is for all who desire to have more control over that mighty force called the tongue. The Power of a Woman's Words by Sharon James. As men, we all want the same things. We want to lead powerful, satisfying lives. We want to leave a mark on this world. We want to feel alive. What's stopping us? Why are so many of us just spectators, watching life pass us by? What happened to the passion of our youth? You don't have to settle for half alive. God has a plan to harness that raw energy within you, to transform you into the man God created you to be. You can become a man alive.